My name is Kyle Hamilton, and I'm a sales engineer with Flycast Partners. Today I'm going to be presenting on the topic of incident and service request management inside of ShareWell. Incident and service request management inside of ShareWell is very simple to use from an IT or staff perspective. Um, it provides not only the, the ability for the users to quickly and easily access the, the incident and service request information directly through the dashboard views, but also allows them to then drill down through the dashboards to be able to review and access individual records that they may need to um, update, they may need to assign to themselves or take ownership of, um, so that they can be begin working and actually resolving these issues for the customer. Now, a couple of points to point, or quick points that I want to make in regards to this incident management form that we're looking at that are important. Um, number one, there's some nice graphical indicators that are directly available the minute they open the form. Um, you'll notice over on the right-hand side, just under the incident number, some nice graphical and colored indicators that show, uh, number one, that this is a brand new ticket, right, so that we know that this is something that, um, again, nobody's looked at yet. It's just been submitted. I can see that it's currently not assigned to any one individual. It's simply assigned to the first level support queue. Um, so, again, this provides some quick and easy information that can be easily visualized without having to look for individual fields or try and drill down and, you know, scroll down through a long form to try and get to. So we've tried to pull out all of the critical information and make that quickly and easily accessible over on that right-hand side in a visual manner so that you're not just looking at a bunch of text fields and text blocks that you have to read through a bunch of details for. As I mentioned, one of the options you know, in this particular case may be to actually take ownership or assign this to a particular user. Make it easy to do so that if I wanted to assign this to a particular user within the first level support team, I can browse a list of those first level support staff and perhaps just pick out an individual user to assign that to. And again, not only does it give me a graphical view or picture of the person making the request, but also the person that owns the request. And important to note that any and all of this information can also be presented out to uh, customers directly through the use of the ShareWell portal. Now, just below the requester and ownership information, you also have the ability to view SLA data. How quickly do we need to respond to this particular type of request? How quickly do we need to respond? Those SLAs can be automatically associated based on the category and subcategory, as well as the submitter or requester of the ticket. So without having to take any manual steps, um, you're able to easily identify the SLA that's been assigned and how much time is remaining before you get close to breaching that particular SLA. As you can see, within the ticket itself, um, and again, you have as a, the administrator the ability to easily drag and drop configure these forms. So if there are additional fields of information you need to capture or you simply want to make this form more simplified, you have a simple ability to come in and drag those fields off of the form. If you want to simplify it, you can go back to the, uh, the underlying table and add an additional 20 or 30 fields of information if you feel like there's additional details that you need to capture whether it's from the customer and ShareWell portal or whether you want your IT staff to be able to view and, and backfill that information after the incidents have initially been submitted. So you'll see it has a, a scrolling form here that I can scroll down and, and look at the details. Um, and there's also um, the ability to you know, move these sections around or perhaps even get rid of entire sections if you want to get rid of the scroll bar, maybe extend it a little more horizontally and make everything visible without having to scroll down in the screen to see everything. There's also important information related to this incident that's available down here in the bottom via a series of, of tabbed links. And you'll notice that I can use the uh, mouse to bring these tabs up if I need to you know, want to increase the view or be able to see more information within those tabs. Or what I like to do is actually double click on any one of these tabs to automatically pull those tabs up so that if I want to take a look at more detailed information within these incidents, I can quickly and easily get to that related data. Things like journal entries. So anytime somebody's actually making a change to the ticket, uh, maybe they're performing some action on the ticket, whether it be sending an email, just making a customer note 
um, in terms of what was done or what kind of changes have been made, maybe a change in priority, maybe a change in category, um, maybe a change in assignment. Those kind of uh, changes can be documented and detailed here in the journal entry so that users can see exactly what's been done. So again, this is information available to staff or even perhaps customers through the ShareWell portal. You can view similar incidents that exist within the system. So again, this provides a nice view for staff to be able to identify perhaps a problem that exists for more than just one user. Um, being able to see other users that have submitted incidents of similar category and subcategory so that you can make a determination as to whether this is something that is affecting really just one user or something that has a broader range of effect, maybe an entire department or an entire location within your environment. Also things like being able to easily search other uh, incidents that have uh, been submitted or open for this particular user. So I quickly and easily see if this is uh, simply a repeat of a ticket that uh, the customer has already submitted prior to the day, um, or if this is something that's happening on a recurring basis and perhaps need to be looked at or forwarded on to problem management for review. Also being able to see configuration items that are owned by this particular user. So not only being able to identify within the ticket who this uh, particular incident is uh, request, has been requested by, but also what specific asset we're dealing with here. Is this the user's desktop machine? Is it perhaps a laptop that they have uh, assigned to them as well? It could be a desktop monitor, a printer that they have in their office, so that not only are you able to see who you're supporting, but actually what you're providing support on. And you'll see that CI information is also uh, identified right here in the ticket. So uh, without even having to look at the tabs, you can easily and quickly see exactly what it is that's being supported. Now, in relation to service requests, you'll see something very similar. If I go back to my home page here and look at this dashboard, maybe I want to take a look at not the break-fix incidents, but service requests that have been submitted, things like the new hire requests and I need a new conference phone. I need a new piece of equipment. So being able to go in and, again, view that from a dashboard view or be able to view that here in a list view and be able to scroll through and look at the details for each of those requests. So, for example, um, I can see Alex here has made a request for uh, a new phone, for example. And, again, you'll see similar information in terms of the requester and who it's owned by. In this case, I'm the owner. Um, the SLA information, and all of the specific details that have been captured within the fields of the ticket. Um, down at the bottom, it also allows me to see the same type of related information, all of the activity and status that's been performed, whether those be communications back and forth via email from, between you and the customer, um, whether those have to do with similar incidents or similar requests that have been made, um, which configuration items, if any, it's associated to. In this case, because it's a brand new request, there's nothing that's, that's been assigned. And also the, the SLA history, if there's any kind of breaches or problems with service level management, you'd be able to see those very easily right here from this screen. So for both incidents and service requests, it provides IT staff with the ability from a visual perspective as well as from uh, a detailed view through the related tasks that you see in tabs at the bottom of the screen to be able to get access to all of the information that they need to be able to determine whether this is something they can fulfill, whether perhaps it needs to be escalated, for example, to another team that has to, to fulfill this. And maybe I can simply say um, I do not have permissions to fulfill Right? And be able to you know, move this from maybe a level two to level three or to level four support if, in fact, it gets assigned and it becomes something that I can't personally handle. Um, so you can see both through uh, the dashboards for incidents as well as the dashboards for service requests provide staff with the ability to not only get to those 
requests and incidents that they're interested in or need to respond to quickly, but also be able to easily identify via the visual information and the fields that are captured um, all the detail they need to make a determination as to how to proceed forward and what that next step might be. You'll also notice over here at the top that if I'm ready to actually begin work on this particular uh, service request, then I can actually move that to the next step in the process so that now as that user goes to the ShareWell portal and tries to go look up status and information related to their request, they can see that it's been assigned to an individual, and they're actually now working on it. It's something that's in progress, again, all in an effort to be able to avoid the phone call and cut down on the call volume that users are going to face at the, the service desk. One other item I'd like to show of importance in related to service requests specifically, and we'll take this particular new employee setup request, is the ability to automate process within the ShareWell uh, service system. So you'll notice in this particular case, it looks very much like service requests we, we looked at before. However, the thing I'd like to point out, because this request is currently within the fulfillment step, and I'll double click to bring this up, you'll see that there's a series of tasks that have been automatically generated and opened that are associated to this request. This is important because in, in terms of things like a new hire setup, a new hire request, there's often multiple groups, multiple teams, and multiple tasks that need to be fulfilled and assigned out appropriately. With ShareWell, these can all be essentially templated and built in advance so that you're not reliant on individual staff members to have to remember what those tasks are, who they need to be assigned to, and even perhaps the order or sequence of those steps. So without having to manually generate each of these individual tasks, the system can automatically generate these tasks and make these assignments. And you'll see as I scroll through and browse each of these, it provides a brief overview of that task on the right-hand side of the screen so that I can scroll through and see exactly what's uh, out there in terms of tasks and where those tasks are in terms of process. You'll see each one of these tasks are brand new and have not yet been acknowledged, which is also why you see over here the little graphical indicator, the little uh, exclamation point inside the yellow message board or warning board that lets me know that these tasks have not yet been acknowledged. They've not yet been put into progress, so we're waiting for those. And again, this is all information that can easily be provided through the ShareWell portal so that customers can follow along not, over, not only with the overall status of the request, but also with the individual status of each assignment and each task that's been assigned out. Now, for anybody that wants to take a deeper dive into service request management or incident management, because as you can see, just by looking at the screens, there is a lot of information that you can use and, and you can uh, capture within ShareWell that we haven't touched on today, please feel free to reach out to us at Flycast and ask those additional questions or ask for that deep dive. And you can reach us by calling us at 1-844-FLYCAST, which is 1-844-359. 2278. You can also email us at info at flycastpartners.com. Thanks for listening.